Hello guys and welcome to another episode of League. So in the last episode I managed to get tier 6 and in this episode I want to start doing some Slayer but first I want to get a bit more rune gear and my current hard clue scroll needs me to go to Mostly Harmless so I think I'm going to start off by doing Cabin Fever. And there is the Pirate's Treasure quest complete and there is the Cabin Fever quest complete so I do get a bit of XP from this I might get some levels. Yep 62 smithing 62 crafting, any others? 67 agility, and I got a fragment. Dragon on a bit? Oh, a new fragment. So when I'm crafting dragon hide armor, I save some of the materials. That's not too bad, but the reason that this is good is because it has absolute units, so that's useful. Now to do my clue scroll, I need to have the little cave of horrors music track unlocked, so I'm going to enter this cave here, and I don't have a light source, do I? Oh, would you look at that? I just have a divine broom torch on the floor. That's lucky. Now I don't have a witchwood icon, but uh, I'm going to be leaving immediately, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let me in, please. All right, I've unlocked the music track, so I'm going to go to Falador. This should probably be the end of the clue. There it is. Let's check the reward. Oh, Gothic's plate legs. I'll definitely take them. I'm trying to think of what items I could most easily upgrade, apart from uh, the shield, which I'll be getting a defender at some point. And it's either the amulet or the gloves. I think I can do some more RFD quests and get these up a bit. And the easiest way for me to get an amulet upgrade might be to get 83 hunter and then catch the dragon impling and see if I get a glory. I did to do a bit of black chin chomper hunting to get my hunter level up. And this should be level 80. So I should be able to set another trap now. Just got certified farmer to level 2. And I've gathered up 250 chins. So I think I'm going to go bank before I lose them. Get level 90 hunter. And there is level 93 Hunter, which is good because now I should be able to catch Dragon Implings barehanded. So if I just see one wandering around, I should be able to just catch it and maybe I'll get a glory. Just got absolute unit checked. Man, absolute unit is like insane. There is no way I would have survived that without absolute unit with like three fragments on. Okay, I just came along and hit me with a whip and then just kept on running. That's just, just not good manners, is it? He did it again. I'm just hunting, man. Just leave me be. I'm about to hit level 99 hunter here, and I honestly was not planning on staying this long. But with Chinchonkas, you get XP just so quickly. This took like less than two hours to go straight to 99. This is kind of ridiculous. And there it is. Level 99 hunter. 125 point task. And I've got a lot of black chin stored up now. I'm not sure if it's enough for 99, but it'll get me a decent way there at least. And the final total is 1,594 black chins. Now I can't equip these yet because I don't have 65 ranged, but I do have some red chin jumpers, so that shouldn't be a problem. So whenever I get round to training range, yeah, I've got plenty of chin jumpers stored up. That should get me at least most of the way to 99. It'll probably just get me 99. But um, first off, I've got some other things to do. I just completed Demon Slayer. That's a 25 point task, which is quite a lot considering how easy it is. And I did this because two of the RFD subquests needed done. And there is the Cake of Guidance, so that's the Lumbridge Guide saved. Okay, there is the Shadow of the Storm quest complete, and I think I'm going to put uh, my XP in ranged, because that's the one that's lacking behind a bit. 120k ranged XP, nice, and it's a task to complete Shadow of the Storm. I get to level 63 ranged. Something I think I'm going to start doing when I need something to AFK is chopping teak trees. Because I've got the set effects now for Greedy Gather and Personal Banker with three fragments each because I'm tier 6. So I'll be getting triple teak logs going straight to the bank. It'll give me some woodcutting XP. And whenever I get around to training construction, then I'll have a lot of teak logs in the bank. I'm about to hand in the spicy stew, so I should be saving Evil Dave here. And then there's only one more RFD subquest after this, so... There it is. The final subquest I have to do is freeing a uh, Scratch You Glogwee. <laughs> And I think I'm just going to unlock the pirate quest line. It's only um, this one and the Great Brain Robbery, but it'll save me having to do it. And it's only six for now. I've got plenty, so why not just skip it? The dragon gloves are in the chest now, which means uh, it's time for me to fight the Culinaromancer and get my Barrow's gloves. There is Agrith Nana defeated. That was a very easy one. And there is Flam B defeated. Man, having an absolute unit, twin strikes, and knife's edge makes these fights very easy.
finally managed to beat Caramel. Yeah, meleeing her was probably a bad idea. I forgot to drain my prayer beforehand so that I could have been doing uh, more damage with the Unholy Warrior buff, but uh, yeah, we got it done. And there is Desert killed, probably the easiest one yet, kind of just reflected a lot of damage back on himself. Okay, thank god for Absolute Unit. That one was a little sketchy because I forgot to restock on food, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Okay, this one was extremely easy. I always wondered why the final boss was like the easiest one of all of them, but hey, we got it done. And there is Recipe for Disaster Complete. So I get this um, antique lamp. I'm not sure what I'm going to put this on. I'll save that for a second. But I, uh, I can get the Barrow's Gloves now, finally. And there they are, 130k, let's buy them. I don't think there is a task to equip these or anything, but um, they themselves are just very good to have, so... Yep, that's a big upgrade. And hmm, what do I use this antique lamp on? I think I'll put it on prayer. Prayer's always kind of annoying to train, so... 240k prayer XP, I'm level 67. Quite close to piety now, not bad. I just unlocked the Just Druid fragment. Just Druid, more herb cleaning XP. That's not too bad, I suppose. I'm gonna skip my cockatrice task and do a tutorial one, which I think is also a task, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and I can choose it now, so I'll just do whatever the easiest thing is. We've got rats on here, yeah, I'll do rats. And there is the rat slayer task complete, so I think I'm gonna go get myself a hill giant task now because the cyclops count as them. This will be the first time I've used the arcane grimoire, but with the endless knowledge set effect, I should just be able to change to lunars. Um, yeah, and then I can just NPC contact, that's very convenient. And I just got a task for uh, getting a Slayer task from Neve and, or Steve. I got it from Steve, and I will pick Hill Giants, except it's not on the list. Okay, so I looked it up, and you can actually get a Hill Giant task from Steve, so I'm going to get one from Vanica. And I think this might have been the strike, because I got the task done, but I didn't actually pick a task, so I'm going to just get one straight from Vanica. And there's Hill Giants right at the bottom, so a 94 Hill Giants. Alright, so I've gathered up a thousand tokens here. Not sure if this is going to be enough. It could be more than enough. It just depends on how lucky I get with the defender drop. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, well I just got the bronze defender in four kills. Nice. Just reached base level 50 because I got Slayer level 50. Nice. And there is the iron defender. This one took a fair bit longer. I'm getting close to the end of my hill giant task. There's my first hill giant task complete. Time to go get a different one. I'll be taking a new hill giant task, please. 117, that's good. Just got level 58 Slayer, oh, and 1700 total. And with 58 Slayer, I should be able to go get myself a black mask. So I'm going to finish this hill giant task and then go try and get one. And there's a task to slay 250 creatures. And there is the Steel Defender. That also took kind of a while, but uh, we got it in the end. That is the hill giant task complete, so I'm off to go kill some cave horrors. I just got a task for visiting Mostly Harmless and... I gotta admit, I'm a little confused about that, considering I've definitely been here before, but okay. So at tier 6, the drop rate for a black mask is 1 out of 170 instead of 1 out of 512, so it's possible to get on my first task. Not likely, but it could happen. Just got my Slay and Pay fragment to level 2. Bruh. I, I just got it in like 20 something kills, okay. <laughs> there it is, there's the black mask. Was not expecting to get it this early, but uh, sweet. That's really good. A full task without a defender. Rip. Ah, oh, there's the black defender, finally. Ah, oh, there's the mithril defender. Nice, that one didn't take too long. Ah, oh, and there's praying respects at level 3, so this should be a really good for passive prayer XP. And there is the adamant defender as well. And there is the rune defender, so now all that's left is the dragon defender, and I'm pretty sure the rates for that one is actually buffed with tier 6, even though I don't think these regular ones were, so hopefully that shouldn't take me too long. And there is Unholy Warrior at level 3. Okay, I just got a Hide Clue Scroll and a Combat Fragment at the same time, nice. And there it is, we got the Dragon Defender. It did not take very long at all in this place here. Actually, I should probably kill two more of these to finish the task, but... There we go, there should be a 50 point task, and just having the Defender itself is a massive upgrade. 
Now, before doing any more Slayer, I want to get my Black Mask imbued so that I can get the bonuses when I'm doing ranged and mage as well. And the way I can do that is actually just spend cash on Nightmare Zone points. So, for one coin, I get one Nightmare Zone point, and that would basically mean I need about 1.3 mil in cash to imbue my Black Mask, and I do not have that. So, my current plan is to go and do some hard clues. I have plenty of scroll boxes stored up, and hopefully I can get some alcohols from that. And then when I get the alcohols, I'll do some agility as well while I'm alking them. And I should be getting mags of grace, like coins from that as well. So I'll be getting plenty of money from both the alks and the agility. I need some blue dragon hired chaps for a clue step. So here I am killing a few blue dragons. And with the unchained talents effect, I should be able to make these chaps. I'm going to buy a rune full helm as well because I need that. And the final item I need is a fire battle staff. And I'm going to buy some battle staffs as well. Honestly, having access to Priv Dinus is great. There's so many things you can buy here that just saves you so much time. <laughs> and there is the fire battle staff made, so I can go do my clue now. And I think equipping this might be a task as well. Yeah, 25 points for any elemental staff. So for my next clue step, I need to get into Birdie Rot. So I think I'm just going to unlock uh, the Mauritania quest lines because I don't think there's really any point in doing them myself. And I've got loads of renown. I could probably get... Yeah, I could get every single quest if I wanted to, but yeah, I'm just going to get Mauritania 3 for now and get all of them done. Oh, and completing A Taste of Hope and Sins of the Father are both tasks. I have five hard caskets here, so I'm going to check them out. Hopefully I get some decent alcables. Okay. Oh, a master scroll box. That's nice. And I do get some decent alks. Um, oh, Amidal Chaps. That's good. And I got a task for filling three hard collection log slots. Oh shit, and I got the I got a glory as well. Nice, that, that just saves me the effort of having to get one myself. I will definitely take a glory, that is very good. And equipping a trimmed amulet is also a task. Okay, there's two very good clues so far. Let me check the other ones. Um, thieving bag. Okay. That was a bit weird, but I'll take it. Okay, let's uh, open another one. Nunchak. <laughs> okay, another kind of weird one. Um, I don't think those are useful, but I'll take it. And the final one, the mod, oh, holy shit, I got the wall blessing, that's really good for when I get Bandosian Might, that's a very good item, and some good alks, okay, so ex some extremely good high clue scores there, that was only five of them, I got loads of stuff, oh, and I got Bandos plate legs as well, I didn't even notice them, I thought they were regular ones, <laughs> sweet. So I've gathered up some Alcables from my bank, and I do have the Alchemaniac fragment on with uh, level three. So I should be getting quite a bit more gold than usual, so we'll see what this gets me. I huh, guess I'd never actually cast high level alchemy before, so that's a task. Well, from all those alks, I've got a bit over 700k, which is actually more than expected. I didn't have that much to alk, but it's still not quite enough for me to imbue my black mask. So I think it's time to go do a few more high clue scrolls. I mean, they've been good to me so far. Maybe I can get some more good loot. I'm going to quickly try and grab 70... Gonna quickly try and grab 70 prayer here with a few bones I had lying around in my bank. There is 70 prayer, and there is combat level 100, which is also a task. Just finish off these last couple bones, and I will put piety on. And that should be another task. Yep. Alright, so I've gathered up five more hide clue scrolls, so I mostly just want some alcohols from here. Other good things would be uh, god dehyde boots and body. I'm not sure what else would be good, but hopefully get some alcohols. So, okay. That's some decent alcohols. Um, Alright, some weird items there. Um, ancient braces. Nice. And uh, 20 unique items from hide clues. Okay, that's good. And I think there's a task for lighting coloured logs on fire, so that could be useful as well. Honourable blessing. Nice, some more alcables. Oh, room plays good, gee, and some more alks, nice, not bad. And finally, okay, another master clue scroll. Some more alks, not bad. And I went ahead and just got five more, this will round it up to 20, so let's see, can we get more alcables? Yes, we can. Oh, okay, two god pages, and I got 15 uh, collection log slots completed. Alright, more alks. Sarket Ohm Ornament Kit. Alright, okay, that's interesting. Um, and a Cyclops head. Okay, so I think we should have enough Alks now. And I've got this piece of fashion scape, nice. Got a bit over 500k from my Alks, so I should have enough money now to go imbue my Black Mask. I'm going to get 1.25 mil uh, Nightmare Zone points here. Bit 
Lights me, there we go, okay. So that should be enough to imbue my black mask, and I think it might need to be uncharged? No, it does not. I've imbued it, and it's still charged, so yeah, I don't know why I thought that, but um, yeah, I've got it imbued, so whenever I want to do some Slayer, and I want to use ranged or magic, I can uh, now get full effect of the black mask. Just did another round of Tears of Guthix. I think I should be getting some runecrafting XP, so I get eight levels there, not bad. I think it's about time to start chinning and getting my ranged level up a bit, and I think I might be able to get a monkey slayer task, which should help. I can kill maniacal monkeys, and hopefully they count towards slayer, because then I could get the black mask boost and some slayer XP. I'm going to get the task from Turiel, and I think he assigns monkeys. Yep, down here, monkeys. 29 monkeys, so I might need to uh, keep getting more tasks. I'm not sure what the average monkey task is. This might not be feasible, but I'm going to give it a shot. I just spotted a dragon imp playing. I'm just running straight for it. Oh, I got dragonstone amulets, and that is a task. And the reason I'm in Canifest is I'm just going to make some snakeskin boots. There was also a baby imp playing going past, so that's another five points. I've got all the monkeys stacked up now. I've got double tap. Um, knife's edge, I'm on 1 HP, let's see what XP drops I get. Ooh, 9,000, nice, this should not take any time at all to get to 70. There is my monkey task already complete. I don't think it's going to be viable to ha keep getting new tasks, but, um, I did get like 20k Slayer XP in about 30 seconds, so it's not bad. Yeah, I just realised a mistake I made, I accidentally had the Draken's Touch set effect on, I didn't mean to put that one on, um, but... That healed all my health from the knife's edge, um, so I'm not getting that set effect, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go change my fragments, which is good, because I need to bank. Um, I'm just gonna stay for my red chins, and then I'll get the black chins out in a minute. I am out of red chins now, but I do have 71 range, so I should be able to equip my new gear. So I've got my black dead body and amidal chap, so I should be getting a little bit of prayer bonus from that. And I think there's tasks for equipping different mounts of um, black chins. So I should be getting them right now, that is not how you type. Um, so let's see. There we go, equip 250, 500 and 1000 black chins. I just got 375 league points in one go. That's very nice. Okay, I'm doing the black chins and this XP is pretty insane. I'm getting like 10k XP drops. Uh, it varies a bit, but these XP drops are just insane, man. <laughs> The amount of fragments that I'm getting from this is kind of crazy. There's Bottomless Quiver level 3. There's Unholy Wizard level 2. And there is 1750 total level for 50 points. And there is Unholy Ranger at level 3. Slay and Pay is at level 3 as well. You get a ridiculous amount of fragments here. That's Unholy Wizard at level 3. That kind of snuck up on me. I didn't even realise I was that close, but that is 99 ranged. It's got like... 12 mil XP an hour, so it was uh, very quick to get this. And I also got a lot of prayer XP. I'm 81 prayer, I'm 91 hit points, and I got a lot of HP, um, not HP, um, a lot of prayer potions as well. I have 96 chins left, so it worked out quite nice. I had just enough to get 99 ranged, and I got 45 combat fragments and 8 miscellaneous fragments. Uh, they kind of stopped after a while because I'd gotten everything to level 3, but yeah, if you want, you want to level up your combat fragments, go here. Just completed a task of receiving a Slayer task from Duradel. To end off the episode, there's one more upgrade I want to get. I want to get a Fire Cape, and to do that, first I want to unlock Hot Stuff, which lets me get a Slayer task for Jad, but I don't quite have enough points yet, so I'm going to go do some Slayer tasks. I went ahead and did the Easy Lumbridge and Draenor Diary. I basically just want the Explorer's Ring, so I've got something in my ring slot. I've completed my 19th Slayer task, and now I'm going to get one from Kona and hopefully get a decent amount of points. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to pick here. Hear me out, I'm going to pick Steel Dragons, and then maybe I get a Rune Crossbow? There's a chance. 42. That's more than I'd hoped, but okay, okay, I'll do it. Just got a 50 point task for teleporting to Korra End Castle. I didn't realise I was going to get that many points for it. Just got a uh, Brimstone Key. We got the Runeite Limbs, nice. Just got an elite scroll box. And there is the steel dragon task complete, so I should have enough points. Uh, oh, shit, I just got dragon points. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, picking a steel dragon task was a mistake. You can laugh at me, but I did get the runite limbs and I just got a dragon plate skirt, and that's a 50 point task. I'll take it. Okay, so I'm going to unlock hot stuff now. It's 100 points. I've got 146. 
So I should be able to just get a Jihad task. First one on the list, I'll get a Tazad task, and then I just have to choose to get a Jihad task. And there we go. Now I've just got to decide whether I want to range it or melee it. I've decided to go with ranged. I am 99 ranged, so it makes more sense than going with like 75 attack and a dragon scimitar. So I'm going to get a ranging cape. This way I can get a bit more of a defensive bonus and prayer bonus as opposed to having just an Avazon. I just got a task done for equipping a crystal bow. That's 50 points. I hadn't actually done that yet. I think this is probably my best weapon because um, I do have the crossbow, but like I don't have any bolts to use it with. And the crystal bow, I've got 500 charges, but I think bottomless quiver saves charges as well, so hopefully that should be enough. Just realised I forgot my holy wrench. Rip prayer potions. Alright, I'm about to do Jad, and first order of business is to tank and attack. There it is, no prayer. And there is Jad defeated, so... A task for one elite combat achievement, um, I got the task for tanking a hit. And I got a fire cape, I think equipping it is the task. Let me equip that. Yep, 125 points, and we got the fire cape. Alright guys, I think I'm going to win the episode there. We got a lot of gear upgrades this episode. We got the fire cape, the black mask, the barrow's gloves, the defender, and I'm looking forward to trying all these out with Slayer and eventually bosses, and there's one more item that uh, I'm kind of lacking. I think I'm going to try and get the uh, berserker ring in the next episode, and we'll see how that goes, but for now, yeah, see you guys in the next one.